say the following aloud. Ta, 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 ta. Continue saying ta as you try to remember the following set of numbers and read the on-screen text. Ta, 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 ta. Did you remember the numbers? Seven, two, five, eight. Most people will say that remembering the numbers is difficult. When combining the time, the numbers, and the text, it becomes a memory overload. This silent speech and repetition is part of a process called subvocalization. Using your inner voice, you are silently repeating those numbers to yourself. This creates an auditory image of the number, and that representation is stored in your inner ear, but only briefly, and that's why you have to keep repeating the numbers to yourself. All of these components are part of the phonological loop. In this loop, using subvocalization, you recreate the auditory image over and over, and that's how you maintain them in your working memory. When you have to remember the numbers and say ta, 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 you are using the same mechanisms for speech production that you use for your inner voice. Now you can't use subvocalization for rehearsal, and this is why you can't remember those numbers as easily. This inability to remember verbal material while asked to say something is called articulatory suppression. And you already read the definition. Do you remember? If by now you're wondering what all of these terms are about, they're about your working memory. The Badley's model of working memory, to be exact, this model was proposed in 1974 by Alan Badley and Graham Hitch. According to this model, the central executive can be thought of as a supervisory system that controls cognitive processes and intervenes when they go astray. The central executive decides what working memory pays attention to. It has several lower level processing assistants. The episodic buffer is the connection between working memory and long-term memory. It combines auditory, visual, and spatial information into episodes. The visuospatial sketch pad deals with the spatial and visual information. It is likely that the visuospatial sketch pad helps us keep track of where we are and navigate around through space. We already learned about the phonological loop that consists of two parts, the articular loop, your inner voice, and the short-term phonological store, your inner ear. The phonological loop may play a key role in the acquisition of vocabulary, particularly in early childhood years. It may also be vital for learning a second language. The Badley and Hitch model shifted our conceptualization of working memory from simple temporary storage to a system made up of multiple components, each with unique functions and capabilities. This model has been the most influential working model in the past 30 years. However, now we are moving away from this simple model of working memory. Nonetheless, understanding Badley's model of working memory is crucial because it was the foundation for the more complex memory models being developed today.